What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Alpexia. Welcome back today to Minecraft. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today it is time to just do something a little bit silly and I thought you know what this might be quite a fun little video just to sort of see what happens. Um, yeah so basically did you guys know? I'm sure you guys saw they've added bees in Minecraft. Oh they're so good. So yeah, of course, I think like, you know, just under a week ago or so, we saw in the latest snapshot, we did actually cover it on the channel as well, uh, they have just added bees to the Minecraft snapshot, uh, which I guess is going towards the 1.15 update. So they are amazingly cool. I absolutely adore the bees. And I thought today, do you know what? <laughs> Let's just do something really silly. Let's see if we can build a giant bee's nest out of bee's nests and then try and fill the entire giant bee's nest which are made out of bee's nests with honey and see how many bees we can get. Does that sound stupid? I think so. So yeah, what I've done is I've decided to actually come to the flower forest biome. I sort of thought, you know what, this is probably a good place to do it because bees need them flowers and then, you know, they go into the little things and they get their honey. So the thing is, like, at first I thought, you know what, we should maybe do like a giant bee, um, a beehive. Um, and then I kind of thought that, you know what, from seeing like the two textures, the bee nest and the beehives, I kind of think that right now, although both of them do drip honey, I kind of prefer the actual bee nest. Uh, just because it looks kind of cool and it's got the little holes in it and, uh, yeah, it looks nice and fancy. Very nice. Um, yeah, so I kind of thought that might be the cooler thing to do. So basically, what we're going to need to do <laughs> is get a lot of bee stuff, basically. Yeah, check this out. So, like, if you had to pick one of the two, right? I kind of feel this one looks way more bee-like. You know what I mean? Okay, so here's my thinking. I'm probably going to build this somewhere right in the middle of this little area. So it's going to be pretty big. It's not going to be like, you know, right up there in the sky, but it's still going to be a pretty big one. And I was thinking what we're going to do is we're going to just build up a few blocks here and then we can actually destroy the blocks underneath. And then if we're feeling really bold, maybe we can like attach it to a giant tree or something. <laughs> Does that sound... <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing right now, to be honest with you. It's been a long time since I've done any kind of, like, buildy Minecraft stuff, so it might look terrible, but I do think that if we I can actually, like, fill the whole thing up with honey, it should be pretty awesome. Hmm, okay, so yeah, I was kind of thinking maybe something loosely along this sort of shape would be kind of good. Um, so yeah, like, I, I, I googled <laughs> bees nests, and they're kind of like, um, they're quite long type things, but what I do want to try and do is I kind of want, um like a bit of an overhang because I do want to actually see the honey dripping out the bottoms if possible. I think that would be kind of cool. So what I'm going to basically do here is I'm going to try my best to uh, make a bee's nest shaped thing. I don't really know what it's going to look like, but oh, but yeah, we need the holes on the outside, don't we? Ah, Okay, so that's something we're going to take care of. So they are like rotational. <laughs> So we do want to get the holes like on the outside if possible. All right, this may take a bit of time. I'm gonna do a few progress reports as and when. Let's see what we can do. Okay, so little progress reporty thing here seems so far so good. Um, so what I've tried to do is I've basically gone with like a sort of two layered setup thing. Um, so it is still properly symmetrical which is nice um see so yeah, i've kind of like staggered them up so one block one block and then two 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 so i'm thinking next up what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a layer of one and then we're going to start going in the other oh that's my phone oh it's the doorbell dinner time oh no <laughs> wait no not dinner time <laughs> delivery time <laughs> be right back sorry about that okay um <laughs> yeah so uh, basically the plan is I kind of want to now start moving it in a little bit. So I don't want it to be like super duper uber huge, uh, but I do kind of want it to be a pretty decent size. And what I'm thinking is that each one of these overhangs should in theory drip honey. Now, the one thing that I'm slightly concerned about is how long is this actually going to take <laughs> to fill up with honey? I'm going to be spawning in a lot of bees. There's going to be major bees going on here. So uh, yeah, we'll soon, I guess, find out. It's going to be exciting to find out. Nearly done. Oh no. Let's get the holes on the right side. Okay, getting there, getting there. Um, you know what? I'm pretty happy with this shape. It actually looks pretty much what a what a bee nest is supposed to look like. Um, so yeah, all I've got to do now is basically just close off the top. Um, so I guess what we'll do is we'll do just like one layer on the inside here, uh, and let's go and close this off as best as we can. Um, I'm kind of like 
I don't know if we should try and suspend it to a giant tree looking thing. I don't know if that's maybe, oh, we could try it. If it looks rubbish, I guess we could just get rid of it. Um, but yeah, I think in terms of our beautiful beehive, yeah, would you look at that? <laughs> I like it. Okay, so yeah, the plan is to basically now just get rid of all of this stuff. So we've actually just got like a little bit of a, a floating thing. Um, because one of the cool things that I really like about the update is the fact that, you know, when you actually find these bees' nests in the trees, well, actually, no. Because the one we found was on the ground. And I haven't actually explored too much of the natural ones apart from just a few on the ground. So I'm kind of hoping that they get suspended in the trees as well. Because if they are, then, uh, yeah, they'll be floating and they'll be dripping honey. There we go, look at that! The giant bee's nest! Oh man. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if it is going to fill up. Hmm. I don't know. Should we try and build a giant tree? It might look a bit rubbish, but we'll give it a go. Hmm, okay, turns out giant Minecraft trees, not really my strong point. <laughs> kind of looks like a tree, I guess. Hang on, let me have a look from the... I haven't actually seen it from a distance just yet. I've kind of just gone a bit mad. Oh, jeez, that looks horrendous. <laughs> I mean, it sort of looks like a tree. Um, yeah, I, I don't really think I've got the scale right. It's just... I tell you what, we'll just pretend it's one of those, like, really weird modded trees. You know, the ones that look really strange. <laughs> okay. The hive is on point. The tree... <laughs> Not so hot. What have I done? Oh, it's horrible. You know what? For the sake of this video, it's going to work. Okay, right. So here comes the fun bit. Do we have enough flowers here? I feel like we're going to have to add even more flowers. We're going to need a lot of flowers. Okay, here comes the fun bit. <laughs> it is time to spawn in the bees. I wonder how many bees I can spawn in this one place. I was thinking of trying to... Oh, no! Oh! Why did... Oh, jeez. Okay, this hasn't worked. This hasn't worked. Right, plan B. <laughs> Release the bees! <laughs> oh, they all died. Why did they all die? All right, you know what? Fine. Plan B. Ooh, this is going to take some time. Here we go, lads. We're going to start spamming bees. How many bees can we get in the map? I don't know. We need a lot. We need an awful lot of bees. Yes. Yes. Look at all the bees. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Oh, well, this, this is Minecraft for me. This, this is as good as it gets. Look at these beauties. Oh, it's absolutely perfect. Um, see, I kind of feel like this might be enough bees. <laughs> I mean, I would hope so. Who knows? But uh, yeah, let's let's see what they can do, man. So we're just going to literally have to stand here and wait. I wonder if they can do it. I feel like they can. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. We've got our first dripping honey thing. Yes. <laughs> we got our first one. <laughs> That's not longer than expected. Oh. We've got a single one. All of these bees? Oh, there's some more here. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, I'm kind of concerned. <laughs> I'm not too sure. Are they even going to be able to get up here? I have no idea. Um, I guess there's one way to find out. We just kind of wait. This may take some time. I might be here for quite a while. But, hey. I feel like we can do this. Oh, there's another one. It's starting. Yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. This is good news. This is good news. Oh, look at the bee swarm. <laughs> So I was kind of wondering, like, is there a way to get them to go a bit higher up? Because it seemed like loads of them were all over the floor. Yes, the answer is yes. <laughs> I've got them I've got them up a bit. Man, this is slower than I thought it was going to be. I feel like we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. This random one at the top's done quite well. Yeah, it's working. Slowly but surely it's working. Was this a better idea in my head? Yes, it was. Are we going to stick with it? Yeah, we are. I think I've broken the bees. <laughs> I think I've broken them. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh. Why are they not moving? <laughs> oh jeez. Oh, there's loads. <laughs> oh. I broke the bees. Okay, another little update. Slowly but surely. Oh my goodness, we are getting here. Um, <laughs> this is such a bad idea. <laughs> Yeah, it's filling up though. It is like it genuinely is so I guess like as I kind of expected It's sort of filling up from the bottom to the top. Um, so what I have done is I've kind of like added a few extra 
flower layers, which for some reason the bees are completely ignoring, which is fantastic news. Uh, but yeah, there's a few at the top, which are slowly filling up, but it's more along the bottom. So what I'm kind of trying to do is I put a flower in my hand. This is, I didn't actually realize this. If you've even got a flower in your hand, all of the bees get like super attracted and they'll just follow you. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of like bringing them up the hive slowly but surely and then getting rid of the flower. They're sort of doing it. It's taking a long time, not gonna lie. <laughs> Been here for well over an hour now, but I feel we could do this. We've started. We might as well finish, right? Right. Okay. Welcome back, everyone. Um, <laughs> uh, basically, this is taking a really long time. I don't know if it's because there's, like, way too many hives for the bees. Half of my bees have now frozen, so I thought I was standing here right. So, <laughs> genuinely, no word of a lie. <laughs> I've been waiting here for, like, over three hours. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it, the thing is, like, most of the hives have kind of filled up, but there's still, like, gaps. So I do actually think, in theory, this is totally possible. Although, having so, so many right next to each other and also having them piled up, uh, I feel like the bees get super duper confused. So I did, like, a bit of research into the bees and stuff. Um, and then, like, I was talking, talking to it with Dan and Justin, and they were like, oh... Uh, they come in different block states. And I was like, oh, wait a second, block states. Yeah, so <laughs> I did a bit of an experiment. And what you can actually do is with a Silk Touch pick, you can actually then harvest a full hive of honey. Uh, and then when you go into creative, it will actually save it as that block state and it will still contain the honey when you place it back down. Only problem is when I actually broke the hive, uh, I really annoyed the bees. And for some reason, if I go a bit closer... Yeah... I don't know what I've done. <laughs> the noise won't stop. <laughs> so my plan was, basically, I was going to try and fill in the hives which haven't been filled naturally with these ones. So, for example, if I put one of these down, it actually contains the honey, which is really, really nice. But <laughs> if I get close to it... Oh, it's so horrible. <laughs> yeah, I even actually put, like, additional layers of flowers so, you know, the bees could get up to, like, the higher areas. And to be fair, I feel like that did actually kind of work. There are a few at the top here that have been filled up. Um, so, yeah, I'm kind of debating what I need to do now. I've pretty much broken it. This was a horrible idea, <laughs> but it has been kind of fun. Um, so, yeah, what I can do if I wanted to is basically, like, replace the empty ones with full ones. So, my experiment concludes, well, not, not concludes just yet because I want to see them all full. The experiment is, yes, it does actually work. However, no, never try it. It's a terrible idea. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Three, two, one. It's raining, honey. <laughs> oh, this is all I wanted to see. I just wanted to see what it looks like if it rains, honey. We did it. We did a thing. Well, we kind of did a thing. We tried to do a thing, like, legitimately and whatever, and then it just got really weird. I feel like, obviously, oh, jeez, my bees have died. Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of feel like bees probably weren't designed to be in such huge areas like all at once. So I'm not quite sure what went wrong. I've turned my sounds off, my hostile sounds, because uh, if I turn them back on, <laughs> it's just it's just it's, it's a hot mess, to be honest with you. But yeah, look at this. Look at this beautiful drippy honey hive. Look at the floor as well, covered in honey. Oh, look at this. Well, there we go. So yeah, if you want to see it from the back. Yeah! Look at that bad boy. Oh, I forgot to get rid of these. Hang on. And there we have it. Our giant honey-filled bees nest. <laughs> this was such a strange video. It was kind of fun, though. I really like the bees. As I kind of mentioned, like the bees are one of my favorite things that they've added for a really, 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 really long time. Um, but yeah, I think the moral of the story is, is yeah, if we're going to play around with beehives and bee um, nests and stuff, just give them a bit of space. <laughs> I mean, it works in theory, but... <laughs> there we go. Look at that! Oh, I'm kind of scared to turn my sounds on. Should I try it? Should I try it? Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, blocks on. Oh! Oh! Oh, that is not good. Let's keep a safe distance behind that one. And I think, unfortunately, that's probably going to be about it for this video here today. So just a bit of a silly one, but I thought it might be kind of fun. <laughs> and yeah, I broke it, obviously. I've broken all the bees as well. They're all just like stuck in the sky, not even move. I don't know what's happened. Oh, I just, I don't know. But yeah, never mind. It's all good. Anyway, so yeah, if you did enjoy this, please remember to poke me in that like button. And if you are not yet subscribed, go for it, because we do Minecraft on fun.
But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. See y'all.